Hi, I'm Fiona Graham, Editorial Director at Light Reading. I'm in our London offices here in the studio um, and I'm talking virtually to Jonas Axon of Ericsson, who's in the Stockholm HQ. And we're going to be talking today about AI and its necessity to 5G op operations. Hi, Jonas. Hi, Fiona. How important do you think AI is when it comes to 5G network implementation? Yeah, we, we look upon this as a, a must-have. It's not a nice-to-have, right? And a lot of our efforts at the moment is to combine the powerful technologies now of 5G and artificial intelligence, and they are really complementing each other. And um, we, of course, see more and more contracts now on 5G, more and more rollouts is happening, and also uh, a lot of uh, pickup when it comes to number of 5G subscribers actually picking up quicker than anticipated. And um, a lot of the service providers is reaching out to us because they are putting a lot more focus now on operations end to end. And that's really the type of dialogues we have with them on a, on a daily basis. And one of the reasons that they really elevate is the fact that they forecast now a significant increase of use cases coming in thanks to 5G. We are talking five to 10 times more use cases coming in very much coming from the enterprises and the industry verticals. And they all demand, of course, high bandwidth, uh, high reliability, ultra low latency, and also a number of them are mission critical in nature. And this, of course, is a huge bucket of opportunity, but also a significant size of complexity that needs to be operated and, and optimized going forward. So, I mean, you, you mentioned that it's, it's, this is very complex. Um, how does it impact network operations? Yeah. I mean, already now we start to see 5G networks providing, you know, 100 times the data volumes or 10 times the data speeds compared to 4G to the enterprises and the industry verticals. So we, we start to get a good feeling of what is really coming now as we scale up the 5G technologies and what's required from operations. Artificial intelligence and other type of automation technologies is really enablers to do what we want to, be, to achieve going forward. We are also pushing a lot when it comes to change management. Change management, when it comes to the whole approach of going data driven, we are reviewing the processes, the people, the job stage pyramids, the whole way we engage with customers going forward. And this is really mission critical for us. And a good evidence is also the innovation power that is really coming now. We are co-creating with our customers. We are, uh, at the moment, we're having some 80 AI use cases that we're putting into production. It really gives us the, the insight and, and benefit the data now coming out of the network. And we already now, you know, we, we are managing 1 billion subscribers around the planet on behalf of our customers. And already now we have some 400 million of those subscribers are running on our new data-driven framework, which is uh, super uh, impressive, I think. It, it is. Um, what about real life implementations? I mean, what can you tell us about, about how you're implementing this in the field? And this, of course, I would like to spend much more time on, but I would like to uh, bring out two use cases out of those 80 that we have in production. And, and these two perhaps are the most popular ones that really get picked the first when we sit down with our customers. One is uh, KPI degradation for 5G, where we have evolved the 4G use case into also capture 5G. So as you know, customer experience is super important for all of us. The performance of the radio network is definitely have a close connection into customer experience, you know, throughput, latency and whatnot. Now we are predicting way ahead of time, two hours in advance, we can see that the network is starting to lean towards degrading that will have customer impact. So we can actually take actions before it has customer impacting alarms coming in or whatnot. What's also very interesting is the fact that we have now closed the loop. So we can see things in advance. And that triggers our automation capability to start sending out commands into the network way in advance. And, and the, the type of production systems now we have in place, we are improving you know, throughput latency and the customer experience in the range of 25, 30%. So it's not small, small efforts. The other use case I wanted to highlight is a little bit on uh, advanced root cause analysis. It's more project based, it's more batched and real time like the previous one was where we can uh, now do advanced root cause analysis of a network. So previously, we had a very skilled engineer looking at maybe uh, eight different KPIs, applying that on 100 different cells. That took usually a week. Now, we applied that specific use case, and we can take not only eight KPIs, we do 80 KPIs on the same number of cells. We do this in five minutes. And then we apply the same 
data model or AI use case on a full nationwide network, we can actually do this in 15 minutes. So we're doing things now which is previously humanly impossible. And that, this is really a game changer, we believe. And what's next? Ah, a lot. We are far from done, of course. Right? But we start to really see the power of going data driven. Uh, Yes, technology is super important to enable this, but a lot of our effort is going to constantly do change management, reviewing our processes, upskilling, reskilling our staff, bringing in additional competence needed. Uh, and also, we just released actually a report uh, on AI adoption uh, not too long ago and, and interviewing some 2,500 senior experts on, on AI around the world. 87% of those highlight the importance of people and culture to do this uh, transformation that is really happening. On the technology side, we are investing quite heavily on research and we're doing a lot of trials uh, to actually take the next step of the artificial intelligence journey. So we are looking into not only machine learning, but also machine reasoning. So learning is very much on the how, reasoning is very much the what. And combining the two is super powerful to either do fully automated decision making in the network, but also augment our own staff. So this we have now live in the 5G customer network up in, in Canada. And this is really the next step. And the next step will be for us to introduce more intent based operations. So we can sit down with our customer and ask, what's your intent with the network? And that gets mirrored into the AI platform. So an intent could be, I want to uh, prioritize IoT traffic in this geographical area, or I want to uh, prioritize my VIP customers during this uh, hour of the day, and so on. So that is really what, uh, what we're working on for the, for the next step. Thank you so much, Jonas. That was really interesting because, I mean, we're very much at the beginning of this journey um, and I'm going to be keeping a close eye on, on what comes next. Um, thank you for talking to us. That's everything from me here in London. Um, goodbye. Thank you, Fiona.